Erin here again and today I am doing a video kind of showing um, how I make um, kind of holista head Erin pizza whatever you want to call it um, it's like my take on fat head pizza I really like this pizza it's a great way to um, get a different source of fat in there and get a different source of fat that um, or cream cheese that will um, kind of add a little bit different flavor on it so what I like about this one is instead of using just cream cheese as the only kind of creamy source, I put in borsen cheese and that basically makes the crust taste like focaccia bread. I also, with the traditional fathead crust, replace um, mozzarella cheese with cheddar cheese and that makes it so it's a little bit fluffier because when you think about how like cheddar cheese melts, it kind of melts with air whereas mozzarella cheese kind of flattens um, a little bit more because it's a little bit thinner of a string cheese or shredded cheese and like cheddar cheese is a little bit more like puffy so um it helps to kind of puff up the crust so this pizza recipe i made two pizzas because i have to feed my husband and myself as well as my kids and so i make a pizza that's really geared towards my husband and me and then another pizza that is geared towards my kids uh, with my kids pizza there's almost always an additional like leftover slice or two and so i will usually save that for my lunch the next day um, I end up always making this pizza on Tuesday night because I'm typically home on Wednesdays and when I'm home on Wednesdays then I can just eat it when I'm at home. So makes it pretty easy. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys enjoy this pizza because it is literally my favorite pizza and um, I just want to kind of show you guys that you can take things that are very traditional keto recipes and just play around with the ingredients, have fun with it. Um, kind of put in whatever flavor you want as long as it's keto friendly um, to kind of get that final taste that you want um, from your food from you know this keto life so that way you don't get bored you don't get complacent and you just are constantly you know experiencing things that make it so you feel like you are never missing out so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later you might have uh, watched me make some of this pizza the other day in my uh, 15 days of eating keto video and I am going to be sharing this pizza recipe with you now in a little bit more detail so that way you can hopefully recreate this delicious pizza at home it's pretty simple and pretty easy to do and even if you don't get all the ingredients correct and you get them off a little bit more than likely you will still turn out a very very delicious pizza so I like to start this recipe out on my stovetop um, I melt some butter so that way none of these ingredients stick to the pan I just want to make sure that you know it's kind of moves around and that I can mix it all together easily um, I've got this set at a medium low heat I don't want any of these ingredients to burn and I don't want them to cook within this pan I just want them to melt and kind of get comfortable together so I've got about a half a tablespoon of butter melting in this pan so I'm going to go in and add the two kind of main initial ingredients and the first is cream cheese you can use cream cheese from a uh, like a block you can use it from a spread just make sure that it's you know plain flavored unsweetened uh yeah not anything that's got any sugar in it so just plain cream cheese um, I like this brand because it's pretty easy to scoop out um, and I'm going to be scooping two tablespoons of cream cheese and then I'm going to be doing half of a borsen cheese um, kind of circle thing and that is about two tablespoons it's a little bit more it's about two and a quarter tablespoons of borsen cheese and um, I will let those start to melt with the butter so once I've got those in there, I add cheddar cheese or mild cheddar cheese to my uh, pizza. There's a lot of recipes out there where they use mozzarella cheese and mozzarella cheese is great but I just find that the cheddar cheese is a little bit hardier and it will give you a little bit more of a kind of fluffy crust than you would get with mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese will kind of lay flat whereas the cheddar cheese will kind of puff up a little bit more. So I'm going to add the cheddar cheese in and then I'm adding two eggs to this one. If you were only going to do one pizza crust, you'd only do one egg. But because I'm doing two pizza crusts, I'm doing two eggs. I'm going to mix this all together and then get the cheese in. Put the eggs in and mix that around that 
cheddar cheese is gonna start to melt. So I've got the cheddar cheese melting and now I'm gonna add in almond flour. I'm gonna add in one cup of almond flour. Typically, if you were doing a fat head pizza crust, you would add three fourths of a cup of flour per pizza crust. But I have found that you can kind of pare this down and in doing that, you get less carbs within this crust. So yeah, I, I like to kind of pare it down um, so that way it kind of isn't too carby because I like to put some toppings on my pizza that maybe have a little bit more carbs in them. So once I get all the ingredients in the bowl, I'm gonna mix it up and you just kind of keep mixing it and mixing it and mixing it. Um, once I get to about this point, I will turn the heat off or down so that way I don't burn this mixture. So once it's done, it'll look kind of like a regular traditional pizza dough. So I'm getting ready to put it on my baking sheets. You wanna lay down parchment paper because this is made from cheese, it's gonna be pretty sticky. And so you wanna lay that parchment paper down, otherwise it will stick to your baking sheets and get, you know, not turn out the way you want it to. So the parchment paper will kinda of keep everything from burning. So once I've got it on there, I've got a cup of water and I'm gonna wet my fingers. Um, wetting my fingers keeps it so that the crust does not stick to my fingers and that I'm easily able to move it across. You could do like laying down another piece of parchment over it and using like a uh, rolling pin, but I like to um, do it this way because the little bit of water helps to add moisture to your crust and when you've got that little bit of water on there, it keeps it kind of light and fluffy versus turning out more like a cheese tortilla. So this works out really great to just kind of keep it light and fluffy. So if you like a hand-tossed pizza crust, this is the easiest way to kind of get that. So when you put it in the oven, you're gonna put it in the oven for um, about 12 minutes at 425 degrees and it will cook and it will turn out pretty darn good. So the toppings that I'm gonna be putting on our pizza are some black olives some traditional pizza sauce, and I like this pizza sauce because it is pretty darn low carb. Um, I think it's considered to have seven servings and we never use more than a third of a jar, um, and then we'll just use it again later, but yeah, like it's, it's really super low carb and it's, yeah, it's good. So then with this, I'll do some mozzarella cheese on top, and then some pepperoni, and then I like to add jalapenos to my pizza. So just on the kind of adult pizza, we'll be putting some uh, hot peppers. So when they come out of the oven, they look like this. They look pretty darn tasty. Um, you can see that kind of good cheddar cheese baking, and that's the kind of look you want. You want it to be kind of slightly some burning parts, um, well not burning parts, but some browned parts, and then you can see that kind of cheese bubbliness um, they will be kind of flat, fully cooked once you put the toppings on. They're not gonna like soak in there, so you wanna make sure that they're, you know, kind of like a flat pancake style. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put sauce on. Cheese. All the toppings. This is delicious. <laughs> and then they're gonna go back into the oven for at 350 degrees, so just take your oven um, down from the 425 that it was at, down to 350 before you pop them in. It's okay if it hasn't gone back down. Um, opening and closing your oven will let some of that heat out, so just put it down to 350, and then I'm gonna do it, cook these with the toppings on for about nine minutes, just so everything kind of gets melted and tasty, and when they are out of the oven, they look delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, that you are gonna go enjoy yourself some good pizza. So until next time, I hope you guys are well, everything's going great, and if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because I am all about this keto life. Till next time, guys, bye.